I'm going to show you how to make a concertina book using just a piece of A4 paper, some coloured paper or card, a pair of scissors and some glue. Here's one example. This is a rabbit showing what's in his magic bag. This is a little boy talking about his daily routine. And this is a planet containing more descriptions of other planets. So to make a concertina book, first of all, we need to take our piece of A4 paper and we're only going to use half of it. So we need to fold it in half lengthways to get the longest strip possible. The next thing we need to do is to cut along that fold. Like I said, we only need one of these, we'll keep the other one for our next concertina book. Now we want the steps on our concertina to be nice and even to give a good finish and what we're going to do is we're going to fold our strip into eight to give us eight different steps. So first we need to fold it in half then we're going to fold it in half again And finally, one more time to make eight. Now, when we unfold this, we've got our eight steps, but as you can see, it's not a concertina yet. So using those folds that we've already got as our guideline, we're going to reverse some of the folds to make a concertina. So if I start at this end, that one's in the right place, but this one needs to go the other way. This one needs to go the other way. So does this one, but this one's in the right place. So is that one. We just need to do the last one in the other direction and fold them all down. Now we have a really good concertina. This is where our writing for our pictures are going to go and of course we want to put something on the top and on the bottom. So we take our coloured card or our coloured paper and what we need to do is just to measure off the width of our paper. So I've just quickly drawn as you can see the top and bottom of a cat. You just need to then cut our shapes out. And then using our glue, we're going to stick one of the shapes on the top and one of the shapes on the bottom of our sections of our concertina. We have to make sure, by the way, that when we put our concertina down, it looks like a row of M's and not like a row of W's. So I'm going to stick the cat's head on the top one, getting the edge of the cat's head as close to the fold as possible. And then I'm going to stick the cat's body to the bottom fold, again getting that straight edge as close to the fold as possible. Now when I concertina my piece of paper 
I can get the cat's head and the cat's body to match up and when I open it up there's my concertina. <laughs>